What is going on, Adventure Nation? Just sitting out, enjoying a little morning coffee. Lorena is out doing some shopping, so I thought I'd shoot a quick intro to a video that we did a couple of weeks ago. I've been working six days a week, so we haven't had a whole lot of time for, for much, but we did manage to sneak away for a couple of days and head out to the West Coast, over to the St. Pete's area, so we shot a little video, and this is what happened. This is life with Paul and Lorena. The apartment's kind of a wreck, and I'll probably get in trouble from Lorena for filming in here, but we're getting ready to do our first little getaway for 2022. Gonna head over to the West Coast, try to get some kiting in, spend some time at the beach, and do that sort of thing. So, we gotta go. <laughs> You think I can make one trip? You're determined. I mean, look at that. Okay, people, when you are permanently living, you have like a little wagon. He refuses to get it. So he's like minning it up and taking everything uh, with him. I'm gonna need you to open the door. Oh my goodness. Bye. I'll see you Let, down at the car. Let's see if you fit. Going down the stairs is gonna be fun. <laughs> Ozzy is not liking going to the RV. Dude, you'll be fine once you get there. Just chill. You're not going to the vet. You're going to the RV. He's like, I don't understand all the words. He just says cage, vet, and he hates it. But once he gets into the RV, he loves it. He goes straight to his crouching pose. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. You don't like the cage. We get it. Paul, it's your fault we have that this many things in the car because it's a lot of your equipment and the one that cannot find his spot it's Ozzy he's tra just trying to hang on from places and although already opened his little cage so he can go in and just have his place there no he has to be here next to us <laughs> I don't think I'd like the cage very much we don't like to be caged you ready to get some RV in done yes I have to say this weekend was my idea. It was your idea. I was kind of shocked. I miss RV too. I miss traveling too. Uh huh. What do you mean, uh huh? Alright, does it feel weird to be rolling in the RV? It does. It's been a long time. We're gonna focus on what we're doing and get on down the road. Yeah, yeah the window's really dirty. I know. I know. Looks like a pretty decent park. It is packed. Holy smokes. Okay, we arrived at Winter Quarters Manatee? Winter Quarters, Winter? Yeah, whatever that paper says. Winter Quarters Manatee Park here in Bradenton. And now we're about to go out and grab some food. There are so many mosquitoes, so shut the door quick, quick, no quick. Seams. Actually, no mosquitoes. I think they might be no seams, yeah, because they're just chewing the heck out of us. There is a little restaurant around the corner that's on the river. So we're gonna head over there and have some food. Have some food. I'm starving. First time it's like already four o'clock and you only have a cereal. I know. By the way, speaking of food, remember recently when we did pizza? We had pizza night? Oh, it was good. It was good, and I did it. Not what you did, Paul? You're not gonna video this. I made pizza. For, first time of Paul doing pizza. All right, here. This is how they do it in New York. Let me see. Pretty good, Joe. That's not broken yet. Look at that. Like a pro. Hey, get your pizza here. Get your pizza here. Getting a little bit wobbly. Uh oh. So maybe now it's gonna break. <laughs> Alright, well, at least I know I can get a job in a pizzeria if I have to. Can you? I don't know, here. That's not bad! That's pretty good! It's not bad. It's supposed to be, what, 16 inches? Well, 16 inches. It's a bigger, <laughs> little bigger than 16 inches. Oh my god, Paul. But 
But I think it's pretty good. I think so That's too. That's not bad. Not bad for my first attempt. And with that, we're gonna have it with some basil, tomato sauce, and of course cheese. So. All right. So do I? What do I do now? All right. Now I've added the sauce, so we're good there. And uh, now we're just gonna get the mozzarella cheese out, and we're gonna throw that on there. So far, so good. He's not the real mozzarella. Not the real mozzarella? Oh well, it'll have to do. Lori doesn't usually allow me to cook, that's why I'm, this is amazing. It's not she doesn't allow me, I, I don't do this stuff. It's not my favorite thing to do. My favorite thing is to make reservations. I don't even do that. I don't eat at restaurants that require reservations. <laughs> how, much, how much cheese, Lori? Is this enough? What do you think? How much a little bit more? I, I guess a little bit more. I think... Um, I think that's about as cheesy maybe as we need it. That's as cheesy as we need it? What do you think? Are we good? And then uh, what else do we need in here? A little green pepper going on there. Yeah. What do you think? Is that good? Good. All right, next we're gonna, I'm gonna toss in some, a little bit of onion here. And uh, Lori chopped this up for me. See, she doesn't allow me near sharp objects in the kitchen is what it is. Just. I'm kind of useless. I can make coffee. I can uh, boil water. But other than that, that's about it. That's, that's the extent of my culinary expertise. And there we go. A little bit of that. Cool. Sausage. This is obviously kind of, some kind of Beyond Sausage, huh? Mm -hmm. Or some kind of like fake meat. Frankfurter. It's fake Frankfurter sausage or something. I don't know, but we're gonna sprinkle some of that stuff on there, and then are we gonna put that? We're gonna put the basil on after it cooks, cause I think that's the way it goes, right? Ooh, look at that! That looks beauteous, beauteous. That's the extent of my pizza. Wow, this is like quite the mess going on today. Twenty-five minutes, and we'll have our pizza ready to go. I hope. We'll see. Ooh, that looks good. There we go. And that's how we do pizza, folks. Yeah, check that. Pretty good. Well, that's how you do pizza. That's how I I do pizza anyways. So not not too bad. Not too bad. I know for most of you that's not a big deal. For me it's a big deal because I don't do that stuff. I'll go near the kitchen. Lori doesn't not allow me in the kitchen. That's not true. That's not true. I actually asked him one time I was feeling bad and I was like, Paul Dinners and you just make the simplest thing, just make a quesadilla. And he was panicking. He's like, I don't know how to make a quesadilla. Well, yeah, that's that's true. Uh, that is so actually true. making a pizza was a big Yeah, it was a big deal for me. Yeah. It was a big accomplishment. We're rolling out of the Winter Quarters Manatee RV Park, something like that. Again, I'll put it up here or something. But uh, we just use it as an overnight spot so that we could do some kiting down in Fort DeSoto here near St. Petersburg. And we're just rolling out right now. Lori's following me out so we can find a spot to hook up. And then we're gonna hit the, the road. So uh, hopefully we'll have some cool stuff to show you guys today. I hope. Six and a half hours later. One for today, one for tomorrow, because I can fly to the thing. It's just an apple. Pick one, Lori. Hey, you have to choose your produce the right way. So it's in its prime. 
<laughs> Jesus. This is something we haven't done in a while. I know. Look spooky. Yeah. Well, no, not look scary. I mean, we always look scary. I'm talking about <laughs> sitting around the campfire. Man, this is awesome. We haven't done this in a long time. So Very, very long time. Mostly because it has been hot, so who wants to have a fire? Yeah. A little bit chilly today. It was uh, chilly, yeah. high of 70 today. The water was great. Did a little kiting. And did I record any of that? No. Did you record some of it? Very tiny, teeny piece. Can you give me maybe a picture and a video? Yes. So then I can, like, insert it. My buddy Jeff from Epic Kites met us over at North Beach, just down the road from Fort DeSoto. And we started off in the lagoon, a little flat water action, and eventually made it out to play in the ocean and the waves a little bit. All right, cool. So hopefully I'll have something there. If not, then you guys will know. But it was cold. I was like all bundled up like I'm right now, but on the beach because it was so windy with the chill. It just feels cool. Yeah. But uh, now it feels good sitting around the old campfire yeah. here at uh, Lake Manatee State Park. The last time we were at this state park, we were running for our lives. Literally. And they were, had a fire and they, they fire. were evacuating the campground. I don't know if you guys remember that, but yes. And right now we arrive at the campground late at night. And we're on one of the campsites that actually backs into the far side. So we have not seen it yet. Yeah, so, so it's we'll been two years since it. we've been here. So it'll be interesting to see what it looks like behind there. So maybe we'll yeah. show that in the morning. What? I can hear someone walking through the bushes behind us. Well, hopefully it's <laughs> nothing very large. <laughs> probably, Seriously? Probably a rabbit, but it sounds more like a boar. We are getting ready to roll out of Lake Manatee State Park. And the site we're in is where they had the fire last year. And the fire came right up to this site. But as you can see, in a year and a half, Mother Nature has uh, restored herself. So it's kind of cool. This whole area here was on fire all the way across, all the way over here. And it came right up to the campground. That's why they were evacuating everybody. Obviously, all the, the big trees are gone, but the smaller brush and things have come back to life and pretty green right now. Very cool. Our site, again, fairly large. Why we love state parks. The sites are always, not always, but the sites are usually fairly large and they're pretty separated from other sites. We've got nobody there. Our next site is way over there. So... And on this side over here, again, nobody. Now, it's not always like that at state parks, but usually pretty well separated at state parks. And uh, that's why we love them. But we're rolling out. This is it. I mean, it's really quick, short. And, of course, obviously, we didn't show much of what we were doing. But quick, short getaway for a couple of days over to the west coast of Florida. And that's why, you know, the Orlando area is kind of cool. And we can, we're kind of equidistant to the east coast. Actually, maybe 15, 20 minutes closer to the east coast but the kiting is better over on the west, so we'll be heading over there every now and then. So time to hit the road, get this thing back to bed, and uh, head down to Orlando. I actually have to work tonight. Are you ready to go? Yes, packing up, but yes. <laughs> we're still out of practice. Yeah, we're a little out of practice. Old girl still looking okay, though. And no, I wasn't talking about Lorena, but she's still looking pretty good, too. <laughs> she's gonna spit water on me. That was a short and sweet weekend. We made it back to the apartment. Ozzy's happy to be back to the apartment. <laughs> Ozzy almost didn't make it back to the apartment. He hid in the RV this morning and we thought that we'd lost him, but he was just hiding. But back home. So that's kind of good. Got to get to work. So time to get ready. Put all this stuff away later. I'm sure Lori's going to put a lot of that stuff away while I'm at work. Right, honey? You know me. Yeah. So <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe. Sub subside. <laughs> Like, comment. He's out of practice. Yeah. So with that being said, like, comment, and subscribe, subscribe all that kind of stuff. I know that was short and sweet, but um, yeah, I'm a little out of practice, as Lori said. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye now.